In this session, we will show how to add an edit mode, an on the fly editing mode, to the flood chart. This is not a part of the flood core itself, so, first of all, we need to add some plugins. Some plug and these plugins are this one. There are two of them. The first one is a more general library, and the second one is editing mode function. To tell the flood system now that we want to do editing, we first of all need to tell the grid, the options, the grid, that the grid now is editable. In the second step, we decide which set of data should be editable. And in our example, we take this one, the data 2. The only thing which changed is we have to add this edit table. For first view, that's it. So let's see what this means on the screen. We refreshed, and now let's take this one and oh, there's a new cursor. And something is moving around the mouse pointer together with the mouse pointer. That's it for now. If we, want, if we want to know what happened, we need to add an event handler, something like this, where on the placeholder we bind the data drop event, which is a new event created by this flood mouse system. It gives us a lot of data, and in this data we see the data point how it was before, and where we dropped the data. Create an alert box, that's it. Okay, so we moved this point, which is series 1.5, from 6.12 to 5. Point something and close to 15. In the last step for this session, we will now take this data, not for an alert box, we will take this data to change the data that we had before, so this data line, data item, and we call the plot, and so we would see that the changes that we are doing are working. Okay, this is for today. In our next session, in one of our next sessions, you will see how to do some more editing. For example, how to do editing with bars and other things. Thanks for listening. Bye.